In a small laboratory near Zurich, Switzerland, IBM physicists recently made a discovery that is being called one of the most important scientific breakthroughs in many decades. Alex Mueller and George Bednors discovered high temperature superconductivity in a new class of materials that could speed up computers, carry electricity into our homes more efficiently, and make high speed levitating trains a reality. Scientists have been working for years without success to find new higher temperature superconductors. So why did this team succeed where so many others had not? George Bednor says because they were unafraid to try something different. We could afford to try ideas somebody else would have called crazy. Laboratory assistants painstakingly mixed ingredients, searching for the right combination. Superconductors were first discovered in 1911 but only worked near absolute zero, or minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Alex Mueller was convinced that could be improved by using new materials. From a certain point on, uh, uh, it's the intuition, which uh, is my, my main guidance. The research team baked up more than 150 combinations. Finally, after more than two years of work, a copper oxide was found where superconductivity occurred at 405 degrees below zero. Still cold, but by scientific standards, a giant leap forward. Um, we were convinced. We were right. George uh, felt, yes, now we have it. But I am in the, in the business since over 30 years, so I uh, said, let, let's be very cautious. After all, a number of scientists had tested compounds that held promise, but didn't hold up under close scientific scrutiny. But Mueller and Bednors were confident enough to write a paper for a scientific journal, and Mueller told his daughter what he'd accomplished. I told her, I think this paper is going to make history. And it did make history. Now IBM researchers and others around the world are pushing superconductivity technology even further. There's great excitement about the possibility that the new superconductors will soon be put to practical uses that will touch everyone's lives. This is Bob Height reporting.